Yo, what's up guys? This is my list of the most obnoxious or bad speedruns that I've found and most likely, you know, some of the worst out there. So for number five, Fallout 3 is one of my favorite games casually like all time, but the any percent run is very lackluster. It's about 15 minutes and most of that is spent running through the wasteland and it gets really boring. You get a little lamplight and you just go out of bounds and maneuver through the doors on the same loaded map and get into some places early you're not supposed to be. Now admittedly some of the OB looks kinda cool but the run as a whole is kind of disappointing for me. I might still do it someday, I do love this game. Now for number 4, this is one of the classics and one of the most loved games ever. Now if you played Final Fantasy, you'd know that as far as the gameplay goes, it's solid, it's interesting and it's not bad at all. So the game is about 10 hours long, but the problem is not the length itself, but the fact that out of that, about half of it consists of unskippable cutscenes. So you can imagine how many Ocarina of Time intros a 10 hour run builds up to. And you'll have to listen to this dialogue the whole time. In this 1993 NES game, you can probably guess the objective. You color a dozen dinosaurs by filling in the paint in the empty spaces. It's only 8 minutes, but it's pretty brain dead. For maximum speed and optimal gameplay, you do all the coloring in the entire run with the fastest default color, one color. And Sway makes it on this list. Very uninteresting, very bland. And somehow this title got into games done quick, from ages 3 to 6, mind you. Pokemon Channel the speedrun, or rather Pokemon Channel the game, is basically a very monotone and very long cutscene. It's a point and click where you try to lead Pikachu to progress and navigate between the channels. Trust me, it's as dull as it looks. To beat the game, time in real life actually has to pass, so you have to go set the time in the GameCube menu. It's also possible to set the time on one GameCube, while the other is running the game, if you have two GameCubes and two games, and switch memory cards between the two. That is basically the category multi-console, which has been split. There is also some not so great minigames like my personal favorite, Odd or Even, and I go with Odd, of course. So you're literally watching a 20 minute Pokemon episode while you do some navigation. All in all, it's bad, but a surprising amount of people are actually playing it. In Crash 2 Any% percent, you need to do a really complex and probably one of the most terrible glitches in all of gaming or speedrunning to obtain crystals to, you know, beat the game. First you get over to this very box and from here you jump 200 times, which takes over 3 minutes. After that you kill this 25 seal to manipulate the crystal value, but you have to be careful not to jump without spinning before landing because it will cancel glitch, which thinks you're in there. After that you go finish out the game with relative ease, but why would anyone ever play this? This is the most obnoxious speedrun that I've seen personally. Yeah, it's only 12 minutes, but why? Please comment if I missed any really dull games. And not like the Barney game, but real games. Kappa B.